My head all monthly, I really didn't think ahead that I'd have to do like 48 versions of this song. New metal, no new metal. Howdy, banger fans. Blaine Smith welcoming you to another metal monthly, bangers monthly look at what's coming out in the world of metal albums. And as always off the top, I list some of the bigger albums coming out in the month. They're noteworthy, they're big, whatever. Don't stress about it too much. Here's just a list of albums. April 1st, we've got Meshuga releasing Immutable on Atomic Fire. Yes, the big boys are back. Satan is releasing Earth Infernal on Metal Blade Records. April 8th, we've got Destruction releasing Diabolical on Napalm. Health is releasing Disco 4 Part 2 on Loma Vista. April 15th, we have Managarm releasing, I'm just gonna put the text on screen and let you guys figure it out on Napalm. April 22nd, we've got Somali Yacht Club releasing The Space on Season of Mist, an album that definitely would have been a Metal Monthly pick uh, if you guys weren't already going crazy about it. Undeath, It's Time to Rise from the Grave on Prosthetic. And April 29th, we've got Ramstein releasing Zeit on Universal. The smelliest band in black metal, Watain, is releasing The Agony and Ecstasy of Watain on Nuclear Blast. Uh, and hey, if you like lists of albums, there's, I mean, I wish I could talk about that on death, but I only get five spots and I want to highlight some things that are more underground in this video. But if you want to hear me talk about Undeath as well as a couple of other albums, uh, join us over on our Patreon. We give you even more suggestions over there for stuff to listen to, more content, bunch of great stuff. And yeah, the tip sheet now off the top has me doing a little video with five more albums for you. Five more albums! So many albums. With that out of the way, on to my five top picks of the best albums coming out in the metal underground in April. And first up is Azab releasing Summoning the Cataclysm on Satanath Records, April 15th. The reason I didn't include Undeath was this was just too cool not to cover. We've got some death metal out of Pakistan. I absolutely love the cover by Arda Lipa. And on paper, this sounds like the absolute worst combination. Old school death metal vocals, progressive guitars, and they brought in an Indonesian brutal death metal drummer. Blah. Yet somehow this is the absolute perfect album to follow up the half release from last month. Um, the aggressiveness of the band keeps the guitars from ever crossing into that soft, progressive territory that can spoil some death metal. Uh, though we do get some great spacey passages here and there to break things up. But man, the drummer. It says in the notes that Atia Perkasa was brought in as a studio session drummer, but Gosh darn it, I hope they cut the boy a check and don't let him go anywhere because hot damn, the dude's all over the kit and balances it in a way that perfectly goes with the progressiveness. You get this really uh, aggressive, heavy drumming to balance out the progressive guitars. This is just a, it's just a I'm saying balanced a lot. It's just such a well-balanced record. Uh, and I just absolutely love that there can be some dudes sitting in Pakistan that I've never heard of and they can just rifle out a heater like this at my head and it's just it's why metal's the best man up next we've got faust releasing tinnitus inquisition on witches brew april 29th <laughs> Instead of coming up with my own funny intro for the band, I'm just gonna read the bio from their band camp. Just three Czech and one Slovak boys with small penises doing what they love the most. Playing dirty bastard thrash metal and smoking weed. 
Uh, and I don't know who did the album cover, but mwah, absolutely love it. Uh, I guess keeping the streak going of bands coming out of absolutely nowhere. Uh, never heard of anything these guys have done, though technically they did release a previous album under the name Cold-Blooded Fish. Great name change, by the way, guys. And I have no idea how they cram this much guitar into a record. They play at absolutely insane paces all over and just rip off these catchy, swaggering guitar melodies at complete will, then just when you think you've heard all they can do and you're like, okay, this is some fast party thrash, they throw in some more mid-tempo tracks at the end of the record that still manage to impress and don't bore me the way mid-tempo thrash kind of usually does. Um, this is just the sharpest dumb record I've heard in a wa ha 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 hile And you know, sharp dumb is my favorite all right, we're going very fast off the top, so let's really slow it down with some doom metal out of the Netherlands in Celestial Seasons, Mysterium One on Burning World Records coming out April 25th. first heard this band on the Metal Monthly Research stream because yes, I research this video every Sunday on Twitch live, 4 p.m. You can come, you can hear a bunch of great bands and a bunch of bad bands. But where was I? Oh yeah, so when we first heard this on the research stream, uh, the chat was having some heavy names thrown around. Catatonia, My Dying Bride, Paradise Lost, Warning. It, you know, those are big names when you hear that in the Doom world you should probably take notice. Uh, and this is definitely Doom on the prettier side. Uh, we've got violins and cellos on the thing, for God's sake. But Stefan Reuter's vocals are full on low, dark growls, and he uses it to keep the band fully rooted in the heavy, sad Bummersville, which is where good Doom resides, as we know, as opposed to the stuff that sounds like someone with a vampire medium art account would make. Cool. Um, the band is also rocking one of those guitar tones that's so perfect, it's like cheating. They could just be like, bang, 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 an open string, and I'd still be losing my mind. Um, apparently they formed in 1991 and were active until 2001 and then reformed in 2011, and this is their second record back, so I guess I've got some homework because I am jazzed. Oh my God, is there not gonna be a black metal record this month? Of course there's a black metal record this month. There's so much black metal. Uh, Incandescence is releasing La Coeur de l'Homme on Profound Lore Records coming out April 15th. Always happy to feature some sort of local content because this black metal is from Montreal, Quebec. Uh, and it's no fair to get an Adam Burke cover and then tastefully put your band and album name in the corner like that and make the whole thing look like a Hardy's Boy novel cover. I want to feature it just based on the album cover alone. And uh, luckily, this is a weird record. So of course, it's going to get featured regardless of what the cover looks like. It's amazing. Um, What's weird about this is that everything except for the vocals is done by Philippe Boucher, who is uh, a Big Deal Tech Death drummer for Big Deal Tech Death band Beyond Creation. And boy, can you really tell because those aren't black metal drums. These are way too good to be black metal drums. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, but yeah, this is both exactly the album you'd expect from a tech deck guy and in no way the album you'd expect from a tech deck guy because uh, it's what you'd expect in this uh, complex, 
nuanced and has absolutely way more meat on the bone than you can appreciate in one listen. And also it's in no way the album you'd expect a tech death guy to make because it's so full of atmosphere and what the hell do tech death dudes know about atmosphere? They're up there in space, zip zap, zooping around. Jesus Christ, tech death dudes make an atmosphere? I, I don't know what this world's coming to. This I'm not done. I'm not done. One more record. Yes, of course, Metal Monthly isn't complete without our palette cleanse of the month to balance out all this craziness. Aluna is releasing Strange Machine on Heavy Psych Sounds, April 15th. This time out, we've got some psyche doom rock from the UK to cleanse our palate. We've got a Mariano Pecanetti cover that really lets you know what's inside. I love uh, I love honest advertising because this is a full on 70s romp that covers a surprisingly decent amount of ground within the genre. Whether it's the more full on heavy doom stuff to the completely ridiculous fluty Jefferson airplane jam, everything is way more compelling than I usually find these bands. Stoner is a genre that I very meh on over time, but I'm never gonna turn down a record this good. Um, this is Sian Greenaway's uh, second uh, album with the band, and boy howdy is that a voice that really helps to make this an easy pill to swallow. And hey, thanks for keeping some energy for the end of the record. So many of these type of albums peter out, but they manage to keep my interest firm and full on through the whole trip, and really ugh, kick it out with the last track too. So that's been Another Metal Monthly. What albums are you stoked on? Did you like any of my picks? Did you hate any of my picks? Let me know down in the comments below. Get liked, get subscribed, all that clicking action. I'll be down there in the mix with you. See you there.